What's up y'all, it's your girl Rhonda B back with another video and in today's video I will be showing you all a quick tutorial on how you can create a simple intro for your YouTube channel. So right now what you will do is download all your social media icons, your Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, whatever icons you want to use on your video and also make sure your icons are in PNG format. Okay, and once you finish looking up your icons, then you will then download a background of your choice, any color, any style scheme that you choose. Just make sure you save it to your phone in your photo app because you will be needing it later on. And from there, you will then go to your photo album and choose whatever pictures you want to incorporate into your intro. And y'all, these pictures I took yesterday, I was so bored, but they came out so bomb. Once I edited and did whatever I had to do to them, just make sure y'all go check out my IG page. And the app I'm using to erase the background on my pictures is called the Eraser app. You can go to your Apple Store, your Google Store, and just type in Eraser app. Of course, you're gonna have a lot of options, so just choose any Eraser app to your liking. <laughs> Once you finish erasing your background to your icons and your pictures, make sure you save them to your photo album. And then you go into your Con Master Video Editor app and you start editing your video. With this video editor app, you will click on the middle part where it has the plus sign. You will then click on media. And first step, you will have to pull up your background. So you'll go to photos, find the background, upload it, and you will extend the time frame on it maybe to up to 10 seconds just to be on the safe side you don't know exactly how many pictures what type of transitions what type of words you're um, not sure exactly what you want to put on there yet so yeah extend it out to 10 seconds and whatever name you want to put for the name of your channel you will type it in you'll go to fonts look up the different style of fonts and then once you find your font style that you like you will then upload it to the background you can play with the sizing of it you can choose a different color scheme you can do the background of the um let's see the font or well, the word you can choose if you want to outline how bold you want your outline you can really just play around with the font and once you finish you will then move on to the next step so for this intro, I want to add the keyboard clicking sound. So you will click audio, SFX, SS, <laughs> I got tongue twisted. And you will have to go to that store symbol at the top, click on it. You can play around with the different sounds that you want. Um, but again, for me, I want the keyboard clicking sound. So what I did was download the keyboard clicking sound. You will then go to SFX, SS. The keyboard clicking sound will be right there. You can choose it upload it to the video and then you can size it to fit the time frame of the upload of your um name then you can start playing with the animations you can choose whatever in animation you want fade pop um clockwise kind of clock clockwise scale up scale down whatever just go through all the animations and if you want your name to enter into your intro a certain way that's option you will choose from and if you want it to leave your intro a certain way they then have an out animation um, option for you as you can see i'm lining up the typewriter sound with the um intro as it's entering with the i'm sorry with the name how it's entering on the intro so again just make sure your time frame is lining up correctly with the name entering the intro as well as whatever sound chose as well as whatever animation choosing to basically bring it all together. And from there, you would then go back to media, go to your photos, those pictures that you um, had erased the background of, 
you will then upload those pictures to your background you can play around with this as well you can play around with the sizing of it how you want to position on your intro again you have the animation option and just make sure while you're uploading your pictures to your background make sure you're lining up the pictures after the intro part with the words because you don't want it to overlap so that's why i keep saying it's really important for you to make match your time frame the right way when you're doing all these different transitions of the pictures and words and music and you know all the other stuff so yeah i know it's very time consuming but it will be worth it once you put the whole intro together <music> to media you can upload whatever picture you want to use when you get ready to upload your social media icons as you all know on some people intros from on YouTube they always mention their other social media um, platforms so whatever picture you want to use again if you want to go back to the eraser app and erase the background of a specific picture you can do that you can always pause it you know do what you gotta do and come back to it so yeah, what I did was chose just a random picture from out my photo album. I uploaded it and then I went to grab my social media icons. And I'm not sure why my IG icon um, background didn't erase, but that's the only problem I'm having with that. But for the most part, when that happens, you all just keep going back and forth through Google to make sure you download the right icon as well as going back and forth through your eraser app to make sure that the background is erased if not <laughs> I don't know what to tell you but I ran out of patience so anyway I uploaded whatever icons I was able to upload and I just put my social media platform information next to it so at the end of the intro you can see my other basically social media platforms <laughs> decided to add a few extra words going across my pictures um I didn't like how plain it looked so this is my option you do have the option to add whatever you want to add I just love kind master I think that's how you say kind master kind master whatever I just love this editing app because it just gives you so many options to do so many things to your video so yeah I just been more creative just added lock queen of course and I thought it was real cute adding that crown. And please remember, whatever animation you're adding to your words, make sure the emoji is lining up with it. Because as you can see, I kept having to go back and forth and kept having to um, edit the time frames of how the word is appearing on the intro as well as the emoji. So again, your timing is everything. So just make sure y'all pay attention to that.
with the idea of adding the subscribe button to my intro so I went back through my folder albums and uploaded the subscribe button and I also had the mouse clicking noise already saved in my phone so I just went to audio I added the mouse clicking noise and time framed it just perfectly And after that, I went to music assets and went through all the music that was downloaded under that option. And I just chose whatever music I wanted to add to the whole intro. Once you finish lining up your time frame of the music and everything else within your intro, you will then save your video. And once you save it, make sure you click export so you can download it to your photo album. All right, y'all. So overall, I just want to thank you all for watching my short tutorial on how to create an intro. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.